That's straight. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we'll be talking about the monthly sneaker rundown. It's currently October, but if you guys may have noticed, I did not film the monthly sneaker rundown for September. So what we need to do is combine both of those months into one month, bam, like that, so we're on track for the next month. I'm gonna try something a little bit different with this one. I don't wanna talk too much during this whole video because I do have a very good amount of sneakers to show you guys. I will be in New York City with the homie David Got Kicks and a bunch of other sneaker YouTubers. I'm gonna post a little flyer right here. Schmack like that. New York City, Sneaker Con, come through and say what's good. A lot of us will be there. A lot of the people that you watch on YouTube are going to be there. There's a basketball game at Sneaker Con. It's two days, Saturday and Sunday, and it's going to be a good time. With that being said, David Got Kicks and I made two different t-shirts. One is an exclusive NYC t-shirt. We only got 100 made. We have small through XXL, so the big boys can get their shirts. $25 a pop. I'm gonna show you two designs right now. So here goes the first one. Bam! Right there. Check it out. I went with the Statue of Liberty holding the pair of bread ones on there. And then for the second design, I went with this schmack right there. The motto T, the grind never stops. That's what David and I always say because we are always putting in that work. Those are the two shirts that will be available at SneakerCon. And I will also have daily vlogs every single day that I'm in New York. So go ahead and check out the vlog channel, Sneakerhead in the Bay Vlogs. I try to lump these into categories. So what I'm going to do is show you my Air Jordan 1 pickups right now. I do have a significant amount. I'll show it to you and I'll talk about it a little bit later. So let's get into that B-roll. Schmack, bow, go, now. Can you change this? You're supposed to do the B-roll right now. I'm trying to eat, I'm fed up. We trying to smoke, go fed I'm up. Oh, my God, it's done, I'm shit. never lonely. She yeah. got a joint in her mouth, she's going to join the club. What the fuck it's is time, It's me, myself, and us. I'm trying to eat, I'm fed up. 47. We trying to smoke, go fed up. All of those ones were dead stock when I got them, except for the Royal Ones. I got those for like $330, I think, and they're very near dead stock. They do have a little bit of dirt on the side, so I'm just gonna hit that up with some Angelus Easy Cleaner. And if you guys didn't know, Angelus is having like a Halloween sale. I forgot what the name of the code is, but I'm gonna leave the code right here for you guys. I think it goes until October 31st. So if you guys want anything, get that 20% off. A lot of you guys asked me for codes, so I'm gonna let you guys know about this one right here. Um, we finally have a code up. Click the link down below in the description to shop at Angelus and keep your kicks fresh, customize them, do whatever you guys need to do. I was blessed enough to get the whole Pinnacle collection from Jordan Brand, so that was insane craziness. You'll see more from the pack soon, but I think my most favorite Air Jordan 1 pickup would have to be the Royal Ones. I do love the black toes, and I do love the version 2 of the shattered backboards, but the Royal Ones are a classic colorway, and you can't go wrong with them, so that's why I'm gonna pick the Air Jordan Royal ones. I'm gonna put a pause on the Jordan pickups and start with the Nike SBs. Let's get that started. Polluting the air, tearing these holes in dimensions, not wiping your tears. Light years ahead, light, light years ahead. Me, I was picked out with a volunteer. I am the passenger, over the steer. I'm trying to debate which sneaker I like more. I've been on this pink trend lately just because it's been Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I'm actually starting to like this light pink a lot more. If I had to pick one, I think I would go with the Supreme Blazers because I'm feeling very, very Breast Cancer Awareness-y. I know that's not a word, but supportive, I guess. These were a gift from one of my subscribers right here, also known as Knowledge. Customs. He knows that I F with the Sriracha a lot, so he decided to make me these slides. Really, really cool of him to do, man. I always make sure to keep notes because it means a lot to me just to read something from somebody that views my videos and finds the stuff that I do inspirational. I have a whole box just full of notes like this. I appreciate you, Knowledge Customs. He has a YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. I'll leave his stuff right here in this little corner. Thank you for supporting my Sriracha. Uh, addiction. Reebok came in clutch with these. This was a collaboration with Reynards. They hit me up, told me about the story, and they asked me if I wanted this pair, and I was like, yep, I'm down with it. This is sick. The only thing that I wish they did was got rid of this little pull tab. I feel like you don't really need this. It's not necessary, but that's just what I think. We got three more Jordan pickups to check out. Let's get it. Sipping on a prune at the fuck out of my view now. Sitting on the earth, just staring at the moon. Beast goes dirty dog, Brooklyn Zoo. This my old flow, baby. Tell me what's new. Oh, just my boots and my girlfriend too. No, not my crew. Stop with the gossip. I've been in the office in the mid. Out of the whole Pinnacle collection, I'm trying to debate whether the slides or the sixes are my favorite. I'm leaning a little bit more towards the slide and 
uh, just because they are mad comfortable. Um, as far as the Cyber Monday 3's went, I know a lot of people slept on them. They're sitting on shelves and you could probably get them on clearance now or they're going to get on clearance soon if they haven't already. But honestly, I've been using my Cyber Monday 3's for rainy days. It's been raining a lot this past week so I thought it would be a perfect shoe just being that it's all leather. Champ Sports looked out for the kid on that one so thank you Champ Sports. Three more sneakers to go. I can't really categorize these together because they're kind of different in their own special way so let's just talk about them individually. You already know the box. We have an ultra boost right here these are the silver metal ultra boost I got these for retail from finish line when they first dropped they got gold silver and bronze I've seen a ton of the gold ones I've seen a ton of the silver ones but I haven't seen that many of the bronze I also have the gold ones back here I was able to get those a little bit early from Cali roots can't go wrong with some ultra boost we have one of the best if not the best Saucony releases of this year the pumpkin spice grid SDs what more can you ask for and these sold out the first day they dropped crispy keep it up Saucony keep it up we got one more my bad one more one more this one is another gift but from Under Armour and Champ Sports they gave me the new Curry 3's the inside is killer on these overall I heard it's a good hoop shoe I'm not sure again personally I don't play ball I don't do any of that but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this monthly sneaker rundown for the month of October as well as uh, September. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Make sure to check out the vlog channel, man. We will have a lot of cool vlogs on there. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace.